Hi guys, let's forget about our problems and talk about clothes for a little bit. So today, y'all, we have a pickups video. I promised you guys this one in the last video, and here we go. I have been spending way too much money over the past month. I think it's just because I get bored really easily, and so I turn to Grailed and Depop, and I just spend my money very erratically, which is not a good habit. Guys, save your money. Don't do, don't make the same mistakes I have, but you know what? We're not here to talk about that right now. This is going to be a pretty big video. Um, this is going to be in two parts. This video, I'm going to show you guys the sort of designer and more expensive pickups. And next video, we're going to have a huge vintage pickup section that hopefully is going to be a really good one for you guys. But just for today, we're going to focus on like the more high-end designer pieces. Uh, there's not that many of them, but you know, hopefully there's a good amount that you guys can you know, still feel really intrigued and interested. I don't know, yeah, let's just get into this. Before we do, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, follow me on Depop, and shout out my editor, Ryan Bettelavaldi. Let's get into these pickups, y'all. Guys, I have painted nails now. They're kind of chipped off, but you know what? They make me feel oh, so, 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 so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna start off with accessories. Now, I have two accessories. This one I brought home with me. This is, I picked this up like in September, but I forgot to show it to you guys, and this is a really important pickup. This is a, a little keychain from Ore NYC. Now, if you guys know Ray Maya, he's another YouTuber. He has this brand, he kind of, I don't know, it's sort of like that whole Hidden NY style where it's just like, he kind of wears like double knees and donks all the time, but he's one of the originators of the trend and I think he does it very well. And this is just a really simple keychain. It's in this olive green color. The leather on it is super nice. It's got this sort of gold, uh, really rustic looking uh, little hook there. And it is just the perfect keychain. I wanted one of these because, you know, I have an apartment. I got to find a way to get my keys around. And you guys know me. I wasn't just going to buy some, you know, who cares keychain. Like, I was going to invest in a nice one. And this one is very nice. The leather is super nice. Um, I don't know what else to say about this. It's just a really classic and cool keychain. Go, guys, go support Ori NYC. They're a really cool brand. I really love them. Um, let's get into the next one. So this is gonna be a little weird. I'm a really bad YouTuber. I don't even have this one yet. It's at, it's shipped to my apartment in Madison, but it was too important to not tell, about, tell you guys about it. So it is this Ambush lighter chain. And now Ambush is a really cool brand to make really good jewelry. And I kind of just wanted to invest in a necklace from them just cause their pieces are really cool. And I found this one on Grailed and I sent an offer for like 60 bucks and I got it. And it is this Ambush lighter chain. It has like this neon green little a lighter holder on it that allows you to store like a Bic lighter in it. It's super cool and I don't know, I just think it'd be a really cool thing to like add my, to my rotation and hopefully when I get it in I can show it to you guys but for the time being we're just gonna insert a couple images right here, right here, and right here. I, I don't know if <laughs> Ryan added those but hopefully he did. And yeah, I'm, this is just an item that I'm really excited to add to my jewelry rotation. Guys, go invest in some jewelry. You can never have enough chains around your neck. It's such a cool accent. So make sure you guys are investing in jewelry. That's one huge tip that I have for you guys. All right, guys, so next pickup is a pair of shorts. And you might as may be asking yourself, Jacob, isn't it December? Why are you buying shorts? And what I would say to that is don't ask questions. Uh, so this is a pair of shorts from, oh, they're backwards. This is a pair of shorts from Noah, if you guys can see the little, dang it, where is it? Yeah, it has this little Noah patch right there. It is actually a collab between Noah and Adidas. It is just this pair of uh, plaid shorts. They're in this nylon material. They're super comfy. I kind of just wanted a pair of shorts. Shorts are something that I know when I get to summer, I'm going to need a lot of because I don't have any shorts. These, they're just super cool. I think they're swim trunks because they have a lining on the inside. And they're just going to be a really cool thing that I can pair with like a t-shirt, you know, just a simple outfit and let these kind of do the talking. And they were super cheap on Grail. They got these for like 30 bucks and they're super high quality. I really love them. And these are gonna be like an essential for me in the summers. Yeah, I absolutely love these. All right, next pickup. This is a pair of nylon track pants. We have two nylon pants today. Um, and these are from a brand called GMBH. Now I really love GMBH. Their clothing is super like out there and outlandish. Uh, they make a lot of really loud sort of futuristic like rave and stuff inspired pieces from what I've seen and I know that they have a super big um, focus on sustainability which I love and they did a sample sale and uh, someone sent the link to me and I ended up picking up a pair of pants from them now these are in this nice burgundy color they have this uh, sort of 
I don't know, like mesh uh, sort of like airy panel right there that allows these to be like super breathable. Uh, the nylon is sort of like coming apart from like the lining. So like it's sort of a double layered pair of pants. They have cuffs on the bottom that are like really tight. Um, yeah, they're just a super chill pair of pants. And I gotta say, for what I paid for these, these are absolutely not worth it. These were over a hundred dollars, which would be nice for a pair of GMBH pants, but these are just a little boring for what I paid. But honestly, I don't think I will sell them just because I know that I probably won't be making my money back on them if I were to sell them. <laughs> So I'm just, I'm just gonna have to keep these. They're super comfortable. They're super chill. I do like these, uh, so I can kind of just get my wear out of them, but I know deep down that these were not worth what I paid. I don't know, but I like them, you know? I like them. So hopefully these can become like sort of a wardrobe staple for me. And if not, these can just be a nice GMBH archive piece that I will love and cherish for all of time. So yeah, let's get into the next pickup. All right, so next pickup we have is a t-shirt. Now this t-shirt is from Alik Studios. Now, you guys may be looking at this saying, Jacob, this t-shirt is in terrible condition and it absolutely is. Um, the graphic is really bled through and there's this like gigantic stain on the front. I don't know if you guys can pick this up. It looks like someone spilled coffee all over this. Um, and so because of that, I was able to pick this up for $25 shipped on Depop which a lot of you guys may be thinking, 25 shipped for this Aleeks t-shirt? Jacob, it's obviously fake. And if it is fake, it's a really good fake because this t-shirt feels super high quality. It's really thick. The, I love ringer tees first off. I absolutely love ringer tees. And the accent on like the cuffs on, the, on this t-shirt, super, super cool. I absolutely love this detail on it. It's in super bad condition, but I can overlook it just because of how cool of a t-shirt this is. It fits super cropped. Like if I like lift my arms up, you can see my belly button. It's like a whole ordeal. It's a super chill t-shirt. I love it. And I could get so much, so much wear out of this. So yeah, this was a top tier pickup for me. This is going to be one of my favorite t-shirts in the time being. I love this. Next pickup we have is a button up from Comme des Garçons. Now, um... Yeah, I love interesting button-ups. I love button-ups that have prints on them. And this one's really cool. It says mind on it. And where like the holes are in the letters, there's actually like little holes there. So you kind of have to layer with this or, you know, show some skin. I feel like that could be a kind of a cool look, but yeah, it's just a super chill button-up. Now I absolutely love button-ups from Comme des Garçons shirt. Um, Button-ups in a size small from Comme des Garçons shirt are my favorite fitting button-ups ever because I have really short arms and kind of a shorter torso. And so these button-ups fit me absolutely perfectly, better than any button-up I've ever tried on before. Usually button-ups are super long in the arms for me and I have to end up like cuffing them. And shirts are usually way too long, so I always have to tuck in button-ups no matter what. And I don't have to do this with Comme des Garçons shirt button-ups. The arms fit me absolutely perfectly. The shirt is at a perfect length to where I can tuck it in or I could leave it untucked for like a super sick look. So yeah, I would have about a million of these if I could. They're honestly not that expensive. I picked this one up for like 70 bucks, which is pretty expensive, but for a shirt this cool, I don't mind paying that much. And you know, in the future, I'm looking to have just like a super sick collection of Comme des Garçons shirt button ups, just because I think that could be a really cool, like, you know, little collection for me and my wardrobe. So yeah, this is a super nice button up. Uh, quality on it is fantastic. Absolutely love this. This is gonna be one of my wardrobe essentials in the, in the coming years. So yeah, love this. Next one is another Comme des Garçons piece. If you guys watched my last video, you would have seen this. This is a uh, sparkly CDG Ample um, sweater. So yeah, let's just get into this. It is in this nice like checkered board sort of knit and it's cashmere so it's super soft and one thing that i love about this is it is sort of glittery so what uh come to did is you guys can notice like the little patches like the little um silver things the thread on it is actually kind of sparkly and when you get down to like the cuffs every like couple of like weaves the sparkly um like thread is like woven in there so like even the sort of cream colored thread is uh sparkly so it's a super nice detail Super nice fitting sweater. It's really lightweight, but also super cozy. Such a nice piece to just throw on and go about your day. This is my favorite chill sweater that I own. And it was such a steal on eBay. This was 30 bucks um, plus shipping. But yeah, 
I was not expecting this sweater to be this cool. I kind of just got it just so I can have like a boring sweater and it turned out to be anything but that. This is gonna be probably one of my favorite sweaters in the coming future. Absolutely love this sweater so much. Yeah, I got nothing else to say. It's a dope piece. Hi guys, remember earlier in the video when I was like, I'm a really bad YouTuber? Well, yeah, so I'm about to film the B-roll for this video and I realized I have like three more pickups to show you guys that wouldn't really fit in that other video. So I'm just gonna show you guys them right now. Yeah, let's just do this. This will go like midway through the video, hopefully. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so first up, we're gonna hop into these Dries Van Noten jeans, if you guys can see these. These were actually sent to me from a secret Santa. So I'm in the Pair of Kings podcast Discord server. It's the best decision I've made all year, guys. If you guys are wanting like a community to talk about fashion in, just listen to one of the podcast episodes. It's Pair of Kings on Spotify and they'll like give you a little code to DM them. You can get into the Discord and it's literally the best thing ever. We do like Secret Santas. It's a great community. I love like everybody in there. I've made some great friends through it. So yeah, that's just a little shout out for them. But these were sent to me by my Secret Santa and I absolutely love them. They are these like tan jeans. I think they're pretty old. That's what they said in their letter. And they're just a little bit wrinkled, but I think I can get them out. Um, yeah, they have this black contrast stitching on the back or maybe it's brown. I think it's brown contrast stitching all over. And that's just such like, a really cool detail. They're also a little slimmer than I like my jeans usually, which is pretty cool. I did not think I would like how I looked in skinny jeans or like slimmer jeans, but I, I feel really, really, really cool in these, yeah. I love how these look and these are just like such like a thoughtful gift. Yeah, shout out to my secret Santa if you're watching this. I don't know who you are yet, but you know, oh man, these are just so cool. Yeah, I love these. Thank you so much. And um, listen to Pair of Kings podcast on Spotify. It's amazing. All right, yeah. All right, next pickups. All right, next item is actually something I'm wearing right now. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. A uh, little, little ring got added to my rotation here. Yeah, so this is a, a ring from a Milwaukee designer called named Elena Velez. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, yeah, she is, in my opinion, the best fashion talent that Milwaukee has right now. Um, she is doing like some really cool women's wear. She, oh God, I think uh, Solange has worn her, Charlie XCX I saw wearing her. Her style is like pretty avant-garde and it's all women's wear. So, so she hasn't really made anything that like I could see myself wearing, but she released these rings. Uh, they are just stainless steel. You know, I wish they were sterling silver, but like Elena, honey, like I get it, you know, sterling silver is expensive. You want to give us like a good deal. And it was, it's, it was a pretty good deal. And I was finally able to like support this designer that I really do love and just support like a local designer in Milwaukee because we don't really have many of them. It smells a little weird because it is stainless steel. And for a stainless steel ring, it was a little overpriced, but I know they made these like really limited quantities and it wasn't like that bad. Really happy with this ring. It kind of adds to my rotation a little bit. This was a very solid purchase. I'm really happy with this. All right, next thing. Just watch that over. I just want to say, I said and like 1500 times. Don't judge me guys. Also, I kind of look fat in this hoodie. Um, yeah, don't judge me about that. I, I don't know. I think it's cool, but I do look a little chunky in this, but just know that I've been getting my fitness on. So, you know, don't, don't come for me. Don't come for me. Oh yeah, shoes. We got two pairs of shoes for you guys. Um, these, these are the things in the video that I'm most excited for. I'm hiding them behind my back. I'm being a little mysterious. Uh, let's get into these. Boom, I hopped on the Solomon wave. Yeah, Solomons are pretty trendy right now. Everybody wants to have this like hiker core. Everybody's getting the like Solomon XT6s, but I've been very vocal about this too. I think that the speed crosses are better than the XT6s. Uh, Ryan, insert a picture of the XT6s right in here. Okay, that might have been lame, god damn it. But yeah, um, speed crosses are cool. They're like a little slimmer. I like the sole on them a lot more and they kind of just look a little bit sleeker and I think the silhouette is more unique than the XT6. These are so comfortable. I love how these feel on my feet and they surprisingly work well with a lot of pants. I thought I'd only be able to wear these with like joggers or like sweatpants, you know, kind of just style them like a regular sneaker, but no, they look really good with like slimmer pants too. Like I worn these with the uh, Dries Van Noten jeans a bunch of times and I think that that looks sick. And they look good with like trousers. They look good with pretty much every single pair of pants that I have. And the lacing system is super cool. Um, 
they don't have like laces. You actually, it's like a bungee cord thingy. I'll show you guys this in the B-roll, but it's like a bungee cord thingy. And you like tie them up like that and then you enter it into like a little lace lock thing. It's super cool. So like they don't require you to tie them. Love the colors on these. Uh, I'm a very colorful guy. So these were perfect for, you know, a little bit of a colorful thing. I got these used off of eBay. So they're not in the best condition. Like if you guys see on the sole, literally right now, that little piece of the sole just came off. I don't know if I just ruined these, but I don't really care. They were really cheap. I picked these up just on a whim because I kind of want to just hop on the Solomon train. I was not about to buy them new for like 200 bucks. And so I just picked these up really cheap and I'm really happy with these. Yeah, I've worn these. I think I've worn these every single day since I've gotten them. I mean, that makes me pretty happy. Simple pair of Solomons, love these. Let's get on to a really exciting footwear purchase. I think you guys are gonna like these. All right, are you guys ready? I'm hiding these behind my back too. Oh, you guys can kind of hear them too. You hear that little crinkle? You hear that little crinkle? Bam! Look, bam! We have a pair of Y3 sneakers. Now these are uh, from Adidas's collaboration with Yoji Yamamoto that has been going on for like years now. I think it started in like 2003. And these are really cool. They kind of look like just like a standard sneaker. They're kind of a mix of like, like a bowling shoe and like a Nike Cortez where like they're a little rounder all over. They're like a little bigger, I don't know. It's a really just like simple sneaker format, but like, God. They are like sequined all around and they're in this beautiful blue color. And on the tongue, they have like this pink Y3 thing. These are so me, like, oh my God. You guys know I love colors. I love being flashy. I love being loud. And these tick all the boxes for me. They're also really comfortable. And if you guys look really closely, this this sort of faded uh, Yoji Yamamoto graphic on uh, one of the stripes. That's super cool, you know, get a little bit of a flex in there. Let people know that they're Yoji, okay? Uh, super comfortable. They are just a classic standard shoe silhouette. And I love these. These were my first ever eBay snipe. I was looking at uh, vintage Y3 sneakers on eBay just because I saw Steve Lacey wear a really cool pair of them. And I was like, might want to invest in one of those. And I sorted by ending soonest. And these were ending in like five minutes with no bids on them. And so I just threw up like a low ball bid, like the minimum bid. And boom, I got them and the seller shipped them. And I'm super happy with these. These are so crazy. I absolutely love these. These are just such like a nice pop in an outfit. They're gonna help me be really loud and these are just gonna make such a statement. Yeah, the, this is like me if I was a pair of shoes, you know? Like there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with these. I love them. Yeah, uh, all right, back to the regular video, boom. Okay guys, if you made it this far, you're in for a treat because we have our last pickup of the video and it is easily the coolest item that I'm showing you guys. We have, drum roll please, da -da 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 -da. the Maison Mihara Yasuhiro um, Melted Distorted Vans. Now I've showed this in two videos before, but I've never really talked about them in depth. They are absolutely one of my grails. I will never have to buy another pair of Vans ever because just, oh my God, they're so cool. They're sort of like, if a pair of Vans Authentics was from like a parallel universe and just sort of got super messed up. Oh my God, they're so cool. Yeah, they're really chunky, but they can be styled in the same way that a pair of Vans could, but they can also be styled in a way that like Air Forces could or like a pair of like old, like 90s chunky sneakers could. So they're super versatile and I love the colors on them. And if you guys look, the sole is just super beautiful on these things and they're super easy to just throw on. They look good with so many pairs of pants. They fit my style absolutely perfectly. Uh, I wear these probably three to four times a week. Oh my God, they're so cool. They're not very comfortable. They're a little bit big on me. So I usually wear two pairs of socks with them and I got nothing else to say about these. These are just such a grail for me and I, got them for such a good price. I'm not gonna tell you guys what I paid for them, but just know that if I were to sell these, I would be making my money back in an instant. Yeah, the laces on them are really like thick and chunky too. That's such a nice detail. Uh, in the place where like the Vans logo would be, they have MMY. God, I got nothing else to say about these. These are just a grail for me. Absolutely love these. Shit, I forgot to show you guys my other pickup. These, check these out. These are a pair of Subu slippers. Yeah, totally forgot about these because I was wearing them, but they are this just amazing slipper. I picked these off up off of the MoMA design store and they're in this like sort of polka dot pattern. They are 
the complete replacement to my Birkenstock Bostons, I realized that Bostons, as cool as they look, were not that comfortable. But these are so, 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 so comfortable. And they're really cheap too, but God, yeah, these are just a super, super nice pair of uh, like slippers. I wear them around the house all the time. Uh, they're really warm. These are the first things I put on when I wake up and they're the last things I take off when I go to bed absolutely obsessed with these these are such a good pickup if you guys have some extra money laying around you guys don't have a nice pair of slippers i highly 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 suggest that you pick up a pair of subus they're amazing they're absolutely amazing i'm in love with these can't believe i forgot about those yeah all right so that's gonna do it for this pickup video um guys Thank you guys so much for watching this video. The vintage pickups will be coming next week. That'll be a kind of a bigger video. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure once again, you like and subscribe to the channel. Nothing else, honestly. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.